And Tennessee saw just a slew of bills, we call them really the slate of hate, um, because unfortunately this session, more than any other session, and we saw it across the country, as you point out, the transgender community has clearly been targeted. Brutal, brutal um, legislative initiatives that unfortunately passed. Um, we do have a supermajority legislation that is Republican, but at the same time, unfortunately, several of these bills that became law were supported by a handful of Democrats. There were five bills that that passed the legislature and were signed by the governor at each step, ACLU and our partners, Tennessee Equality, uh, the LGBT Chamber, and others worked together to try to oppose these bills. But what we saw um, happen were the, the three bills our eyes on right now are on in terms of thinking about lawsuits and, and obviously moving forward with that litigation. The first was the bill that we saw in many states that would prohibit transgender youth from participating in athletic teams um, that conform with their gender identity. So requiring, for instance, that you know a transgender boy um, still would be required to play on a girl's team based on their birth certificate or a transgender girl would be required to play on a boy's team and not on the team that conformed with their gender identity. So much misinformation, so much ignorance, and, and really, you know, so much fear, I suppose, to be for a moment, give some of the legislators some, some space. The second bill um, that passed focused on the business community and requiring nonprofits and other businesses to put up signs were they to have an informal or formal policy allowing transgender folks to use bathrooms that conform with their gender identity. Again, a way to humiliate, challenge, um, and, and chill the transgender community from being able to uh, be in public spaces that posted signs. Allows for all sorts of harassment as well. A third bill focused on, we call it the bathroom 2.0 bill. We all know, and we saw it in North Carolina several years ago, the bills that were introduced that would prohibit transgender youth from using bathrooms in, in public schools that conform to their gender identity and instead sending them to private bathrooms or isolated bathrooms, you know, far away from, frankly, where many of the classrooms were. This bill is, is nuanced. And again, it was passed and became law in Tennessee, which would require um, would allow, let's put it that way, would allow students who did not want to have transgender youth in the bathrooms that conform with their gender identity, would allow those families, those students to file lawsuits against the students, the transgender students, were they to use the bathrooms, would require the, the uh, would allow the school, the parents and family to actually file lawsuits against local school boards, which is it's kind of fascinating, the attempt by the state legislature to allow those kinds of lawsuits to happen. What we fear, as you might imagine, is that schools now will feel they're forced to uh, formalize and informally or formally uh, enact policies, adopt policies to prohibit transgender youth from using bathrooms that conform to their gender identity. And our eyes are on that with um, clear recognition that that is that violates the Constitution and clearly under the new administration, President Biden's administration, where he has vacated the executive order from the prior administration and says that these kinds of laws prohibiting transgender youth, <clears throat> excuse me, from using bathrooms that conform to their gender identity, prohibiting that is a violation of Title IX and school systems would actually, you know, jeopardize uh, receiving federal funds. So there's a lot of detail, uh, but suffice it to say that our legislature was a brutal session. It was the worst session I've seen ever in my many years at the legislature in terms of the, the frontal attack on um, the LGBTQ community, but focus centered on the transgender community and especially transgender youth. And of course, transgender.